Hello and welcome. As you can tell from today's video and title, this is going to be a get my house ready for vacation cleaning motivation type of video. You guys were going on vacation finally. It's just going to be a four day weekend, but I'm so stinking excited. I can't even put it into words. So you know that if you go out of town for any length of time, the best thing to do is to come home to a nice clean house, right? So that's what I'm going to be doing. We actually have to work three days this week and then we're going to be leaving. So I told Ruben, I was like, don't eat anything. Don't wear anything. Don't touch anything. Just don't get anything dirty. Okay. For these next three days until we leave because I want this house to be clean when we come back. <laughs> I know it's impossible, but I'm going to try my hardest. But I wanted to first go ahead and get all of my laundry done. And I also have some new things that I picked up for the trip. Just this cute little pair of Lee jeans. I got these at Walmart. I think they were like $23. I don't remember. This shirt, they have their fall stuff out now. Every time they have these things out, I always miss my chance for my size. So I just went ahead and grabbed one. They were only $14. I'm going to wear the heck out of that. I also got a really cute little flowy tank. They were on clearance for $6. I picked up another really cute flowy little v-neck t-shirt. I love these things. I have one in like a brown and white tie-dye print as well. They were only $12. And then at Target, I picked up a really cute little comfy tee. They were actually $5 on sale. I got a white one and then I got a green one as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that stuff thrown in the washing machine. I don't know if you guys can hear it. You probably can. While I'm doing this voiceover, Ruben is outside mowing the grass. I was like, please, just start in the backyard. I, I don't think he did it. So he's right out in front of my window right now. So if you hear it, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to redo this voiceover and I'm not going to go tell him to stop mowing the grass. So <laughs> it is what it is. You guys know you get real life stuff over here. So I always keep it 100. But you guys, I'm so excited for this trip. I have been thinking about this all year. I think I've talk to you guys maybe a couple times on a video or Instagram or something, but every year around my birthday, it's usually the week of my birthday, but this year it's a little bit late. We go and see a particular band. I've been doing it for years. I finally started dragging Ruben into doing it with me about 10 years ago. So we do this every year. I think we've only missed a few because of COVID, but I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so stinking excited. And I really needed to get another pair of shorts because the ones that I have, I have like two pairs of shorts that fit, okay? And I was not going to go and spend a ton of money on a whole bunch of shorts because as we know it, summer's not going to be here forever and I would rather spend that money on something else. But I got those little Lee shorts because they're very stretchy and y'all know, I'm going to be eating my weight in seafood when we go. If you can't tell, we're going to the beach. Um, so yeah, I've got to get all the stuff cleaned up because it has been a hot mess in this house. I've been so busy with work. It's just like life has just been kicking my my butt okay and it just really hurt my soul to throw flowers I hate throwing flowers away y'all I really do but they were like getting really grimy so they had to go and um, I got a new little mat to go in front of the front door the rug that's there now it's just got a whole bunch of little woolly boogers all over it from being washed so much and it just needed to be replaced I know it doesn't match and I don't care I got that at Ollie's for like seven dollars and I figured for what it's going to be used for I'm not going to spend that much money on it so I'm really excited for that and as you're going to see here in just a few minutes Bodie is he's in love with it he ended up taking like a 45 minute nap on that daggone thing as soon as I laid it down he likes it it's Bodie approved so I also wanted to talk about, I was actually going live on YouTube, I think it was a couple nights ago, and I started the live, and it was started for like a minute, and then somebody came to my door, like my front door, and I had to stop the live. So um, I didn't honestly even get it started, and I didn't even get to finish it or do it, but I still have questions because I posted it on my community page, and I kind of wanted to just go ahead and answer these questions, just, you know, have something fun in this video. So... Um, one of my first questions was, no questions, just anxiously awaiting crime secrets and for you to put up the mug shots. Love you. I love you too, Kathy. Um, so we are having our little summer break on the podcast. If you guys follow us there, if you don't, I highly suggest it. It's tons of fun, but we are going to be coming back. I would say, I think like here in the next month, we're going to be starting up our podcast again for the new season. And, um, as far as the mug shots, if you didn't watch my last video, Rosa sent me a dozen of black and white 8x10 mug shots of serial killers, and I'm putting them up in my office. I've actually already ordered the frames for them, and they should be here today. I checked it earlier this morning, and it said they're out for delivery, so I can't wait for that. That's probably going to be in one of my next videos, so come back if you want to see that. I'm just so excited for those. If you, if you did not see them, you have to go back and take a look at them. They are absolutely amazing. One of the best gifts I've ever had in my entire life. 
Another one of the questions was, are you two going to have a wedding? Yes, we are. We were actually talking about this last weekend, I think, and we can't decide exactly where we want to do it. Um, we both kind of had some of the same ideas. I think we, we probably will end up doing it at the farm, but we haven't decided a thousand percent on that. But you guys, I promise you will be like the first people to know all the details because this has been, you know, 10 years in the waiting. So you guys are going to know as soon as I know. And I'm excited to just like buy things and go do stuff and plan. That's just like one of my favorite things to do. But, um, also with that, it's going to come a lot of anxiety. So <laughs> I'm not excited about that part, but speaking of anxiety, so I was actually filming, I filmed, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or so of footage for like a little vlog video on the vlog channel. I don't know if it's because, if it's, because it's been a while since I've done anything um, on the vlog channel. I don't know what it was, but I started in, I think I started in Target. It was when I was buying these clothes for the trip and I was just going to have like a vlog of, you know, getting ready to go on vacation and all the stuff and all that thing. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so I started to do like a vlog and I started to film and I got a little bit of footage in Target and I just kind of felt really off, like really weird. And I was like, the footage is not going to be good. Like people are going to think I'm having a stroke or something because it's just not, it's not right. So I was like, okay, I'll just shake that off and I'll feel more comfortable in Walmart, right? I get to Walmart and the music's really loud and I was extremely hot. I was sweating. I was like almost to the point of hyperventilating because I was so hot. I swear to God, if he doesn't stop with that freaking weed eater. Do y'all hear that? Sorry. These are the things that drive me over the edge. Okay, we're just going to hold on. He knows I'm in here doing this stuff too. I don't, you know what? I'm not going to cut this out. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to leave it. Also, look at that. I still have all those daggone dish packets left. You guys know I've been complaining about those things for like a year now. Well, hello, Bodie. He just busted into my office. Um, anywho, so yeah, I get to Walmart. I'm extremely hot. I can't breathe. I'm about to hyperventilate. It's loud. And I get through like, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. Y'all, I had a, like almost a full-blown panic attack. I had to put my buggy over, you know, into an aisle. I left the Walmarts. I went back to my car. I turned on the AC. I sat there for a few minutes, tried to gather myself. The only reason I went back in is because I had to get some of the stuff done because... Like I mentioned earlier, we do have to work a few days this week and I just didn't want to have to be, I still have stuff to do. Like I still have to go and get my oil changed and clean my car and you know, all that good stuff. Anywho, I just went ahead and went back in, got my stuff finished and left. I didn't film anything else or nothing. I don't know what it is, but my anxiety has been through the roof lately. Like it was, it was scary. Like I was like shaking and it was bad, but we're good now. So the plan is I will film some of the stuff on vacation for the vlog channel. I've just got to get back into it. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just, I don't know. It's weird. I also have a video coming out. Um, I might get it out this, well, it's not going to be this week because I'll be gone. It might be the following week, like next week. Um, just kind of like just a little bit of changing and I don't know, just some things coming up, things I've been thinking about. It's going to be really enlightening, eye-opening. So if you guys are inclined to come back and watch that, I would love for you to. It's just going to be, it's not like, you know, complaining about a whole bunch of stuff. It's not anything like that at all. Just, it's just some stuff I want to talk about. So I am going to put it on this channel because this is where I have the most subscribers and I want, you know, as many people to hear as humanly possible. So that's going to be coming up. Also, I know that I'm just like all over the place. You guys know that I'm all over the place all the time. But here in the kitchen, I don't know if you can tell, but I have started to bring some of the stuff back in. So we're still waiting to paint like the rest of the bedrooms. And we want to do that before we get the floors and stuff to be put in. So we've got um, all the bedrooms and the bathrooms left to do. So I was like, I'm not going to be sitting here waiting on months, you know, for me to get my stuff back in my kitchen. So I slowly started to bring some of the things back in here. Actually, in my Amazon um, delivery that's coming with the frames is a little pair of, cur a little pair of curtains, is a pair of sheer curtains for the kitchen that I got. It's, I think it's just going to be so cute. Like, a, um, it, uh, kind of like bohemian type. Um, you'll see them. You'll see them. I'll have them in probably the next video. I also ordered me a new paper towel holder. I mentioned in the last 
video that I broke my paper towel holder and I'm so I'm so mad about that still anyway I got another one so she'll be here today too I got some new sheets I got some new pillows for the bed just you know a whole bunch of new stuff I was really excited about so I'll be showing you guys all of that probably in the next video so come back to watch that I'm also going to answer another couple questions here. So one question was, are you doing any remodeling in the downstairs? I know your mother-in-law lives downstairs. Just curious. And no, we're not going to be doing anything down there. That one, uh, the downstairs was actually redone like not, well, I'm not going to say not too long ago. It's, it's been a while, but there's nothing wrong with it downstairs. Um, maybe here in the future, we'll do some paint and stuff like that, but the carpet's not nearly as bad down there as it is up here. So we're not going to be doing anything down there. I will be doing another cleaning video downstairs here soon. Um, it's, it just needs it. And you guys know, I like to help her out and get some of that stuff done because she can't do, you know, as much. Um, uh, another question was, are you and Rosa going to get together soon? You two are a hoot. I would love to, I would love to have girls weekend with Rosa every single weekend, but that's just not possible. Um, neither of us have the money to do that. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, but again, you guys will be the first to know if we do that. I'll go ahead and do one more question. And that was how did you and Ruben meet? And actually Ruben and I have known each other since I was in the seventh sixth or seventh grade. So he has a younger brother and a younger sister and his younger brother, Joe and I were in the same grade and his sister, I think is a year or two younger than me. I think Diana is two years younger than I am. So, um, they lived in an apartment complex right behind where I lived. And of course, you know, when you're that age, everybody just kind of, you know, gets together and hangs out at each other's houses, apartments, what have you. And I would always go over to Diana's house and, you know, sometimes they would be there, but like, I didn't really, like I knew Ruben, of course, obviously I knew him. We'd, we'd met, you know, whatever, but we didn't like ever really interact because he was, he was older than I, well, he still is. He's, he's an old geezer. So, um, he obviously he's what, five years? No, he's three years older than I am. Yeah. Three years older than me. But um, he was, you know, gone all the time, whatever. Anyway, so we didn't really like hang out, but we knew who each other was. And we obviously lived our lives and went on and did things that, you know, people do in their life. And I had gotten married. I had two kids. He had gotten married. He had his daughter. And we just happened to be out um, one night. I think, I think I was still married at the time. And we just kind of, you know, saw each other at a bar one night and we we're like, Oh, Hey, Hey, you know, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. So I was like, Oh yeah. You know, Reuben, I could just kind of forgotten about him over time, I guess. But then after I had gotten divorced, it was like maybe a year after I had gotten divorced and I was, you know, looking for something to do. The boys were gone to their dads on the weekend and you know how you do, you just post on Facebook, you know, that's just what everybody does. What's everybody doing? What's going on? What's happening? Looking for something to do. And actually Diana messaged me and I had not seen or heard from Diana in years. And she messaged me and she's like, Hey, I'm going to be at this you know particular place tonight. Why don't you come, you know, have a drink, hang out, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, Ruben's going to be there. And immediately when she said that, I was like, well, I don't, I don't care. You know, <laughs> you know, I never really had that thought about Ruben ever. And I was like, all right, cool. It'd be good to see you. And you know, blah, blah, blah. So I went and we had a good time and Ruben and I just ended up you know, talking and talking and talking. And we just haven't really left each other alone since. So it's funny because everybody just assumes that, you know, we just kind of met later in life, but no, we've known each other for, I've known him again. What? I don't know. How old are you in the seventh grade? Like 12, 13. So I don't know, like, you know, almost 40 years. Yeah. It's been, it, we're old. Okay. We're just old, but yeah, that's, that's how Ruben and I know each other. And, um, we've been together for 11, I think it'll be 12 years in February. I'm pretty positive. 12 years in February is how long we'll be together, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's the gist of it. We're just, you know, our town is small. Everybody knows everybody. And eventually you're going to get to a point where you run into each other. You date somebody, you know, somebody that's dated that person. You marry that per something. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the kind of town that we're in. Not like, 
I don't know. Somebody's going to take that the wrong way. Anyway, it's a small town, so it was inevitable that, you know, people just cross paths again. So, I don't know. That's just, you know, where we are, and he's just kind of stuck with me, to be honest with you. He has no choice. Not for that to mean, like, in a in a bad way. Like, I don't, I don't want any other choice. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, this is... This is it. We're, we're not going anywhere. But um, anywho, while I'm sitting here editing this, I can't help but notice like how much brighter all of this footage is. And I know it wasn't like a huge difference, like the painting that we did on the walls, but it just makes everything so much brighter, doesn't it? You guys are going to have to let me know if you can see a difference. But here's what I was talking about, where as immediately when I laid this rug down, Bodhi was like, okay, cool. This is mine now. And I'm just going to sit here and take a nap. He literally laid there while I finished up the rest of the house. You're not going to be seeing him in here while I'm vacuuming. And you guys know he's always at my tail when I vacuum. He was not in here. He wasn't in here when I was mopping. Nothing. Like he just went over there and took him a big old fat nap. And it was the cutest thing ever. Um, again, it doesn't match anything and I really don't care. But it's clean. And that's what I was going for. I wanted something clean. Um, so I went ahead, obviously. Well, I'm not going to say obviously because I don't think I've even come across that yet in this video, but I went ahead and washed Bodie's bed because it just harbors funky smells, okay? I can vacuum it all I want to and get all of the fur off of it and the dirt and the dust, but it was just grungy. Like, it needed to be soaked so badly. So, I washed that. I got all of my other rugs washed and bedding, you know, all of that stuff is done. So, I just really wanted to get as much stuff done in the house as I possibly could just to make it a little bit easier for when we come back and something that I'm not having to stress out over. Um, if you guys are wondering what's going to happen with Bodie while we're gone, again, Ruben's mom is here. His sister comes over all the time, so they are graciously going to take care of Buddy while we're gone. They will be up here playing with him. They're going to let him out. They're going to, you know, feed him and all that good stuff. So don't worry. He is going to be in really, really good hands. Also, I'm noticing that you guys can probably see, not the baseboards, but what is that called? The trim? No. What's that called? Those little, the, the very bottom boards. What is that called? Quarter round. Um, those are still kind of janky. And the reason being is because when we put the floors in, we're going to have to replace those. And I was like, why am I going to paint those if I'm just getting ready to rip them out? You know what I mean? So I just didn't feel like it was necessary to put myself through all that work just if we're going to rip them out. Um, also an update because I think on the last video, I told you guys that we had a guy come over and do, oh no, it wasn't on the video. I think I posted it on my Instagram stories, but we had another guy come over and give us an estimate on the install of the floors. And he came in at like a little over half of what the last guy was going to charge us. And we were like, uh, no, thank you. So it's a no for him. Um, I don't know if we're going to go with the first guy we talked to or if Ruben's going to want to try to talk to a few more people and get a few more estimates, but yeah, this is a long process to be honest with you. It's just, I mean, it needs to be done and there's no point in forking out a whole bunch of extra money if you don't need to. Obviously, it's going to have to be good work, um, but if you know Ruben, he thoroughly investigates and does, you know background checks and tons and tons of research on things like that. So I have no doubt in my mind that whoever we end up having come in here and do this, it's going to be amazing work. So when the time's right, we're going to pick who we want to pick and the stuff is going to get done. I mean, you guys know I have talked about this forever and ever in a day. And Reuben bought this house like 25 years ago, probably. And you know, if we've waited that long to get the floors done, I can wait another month or two before we decide exactly who it is that we want to come in and make sure that the floors are done, you know, correctly. So that's where we're at on the floors for the moment. And again, we're going to have to just go ahead and finish painting all of the rooms as well. And now that I'm in here cleaning in the bathroom, um, I'm going to probably go ahead and purchase a new vanity. I know I've talked about toilets before. Vanity as well because the first guy that we talked to was like, you know, I do get a discount. So if there's something at Lowe's that you guys see that you want, let me know and I can go ahead and put it on the list of the things that I'm going to have to buy anyways. And then that way you guys can get the discount on that. So that will come in handy. Everything just needs a good update, you know. And my son was like, my youngest said, well, you know, 
what if you guys end up moving? And I'm like, well, you know, everything in here is going to have to be updated anyways. So even if it's stuff that we can't take with us, we're really adding value to the house and it's just going to, you know, up the price that we can ask when we're selling it. So it's going to come out, you know, good on everybody's end. But I actually did miss one question that I kind of did want to do. Um, and it was something about, I don't have it in front of me, but it was something about like my favorite Netflix shows or what I'm currently watching. And I always love to hear what everybody else is watching because I kind of feel like sometimes I get in a rut and I just turn the TV on for noise. And, you know, a lot of times I would like to just try to find something that I can really get into. That way I can get off of my phone and put that down for a little bit. And um, obviously anything documentary, I will watch a documentary on anything. Obviously, you know, true crime and murder documentaries are my favorite, but I also love music and history documentaries as well. And Making a Murderer is probably one of my all-time favorite top three documentaries. And that is on Netflix if you have not watched that yet. It's amazing. Uh, go ahead and watch that if you ever get a chance. Um, what else was it? Um, was it Murder Mountain, I think? I think that was the name of it. I'm not positive, but I think that was the name of another one that I really, really liked. Um, a Killer is a good one. Uh, the Heist is a good one. The Phantom is really good. Obviously, I watched all of the episodes of You, and mm, you guys, that's like one of my, oh my gosh, it is so good. So, so good. There is one that has come out. When did it come out? I don't remember exactly, but I think it's pretty much brand new. And it's something like how to become a cult leader, I think. I have not watched that yet, but I did see it on there. And I'm pretty positive I will go and watch that. Probably as soon as I get finished doing this voiceover um, and finish up the editing of this video, I'll probably go ahead and start that so I can go to sleep watching that. Also, thank you for your service. Uh, that one's pretty new. That was an amazing film. Absolutely loved that one. Yeah, it, I mean, pretty much Studio 54, that was a good one. The Wham! documentary, that was freaking amazing. Of course, I'm a huge 80s music fan and lover, so that was obviously something that I was going to have to watch. There's another one out as well. It's called Bombshell, and I think that is the Hedy Lamar story. She was a... I don't know, I think like in the 50s, 60s, maybe she was an actress, very beautiful, and that's just a documentary about her and her life. There's another one called The Lucy Blackman Case, and I'm pretty sure that was the American girl that went to China or Japan, something like that. I'm not quite sure. Um, I don't know, there's just so many things that are, you know, that can obviously take your mind off of life and get your face out of the phone. That's something that I'm trying to strive for more and more on a daily basis is to not be on my phone. And it's kind of hard when you're in social media. Like I say I'm in social media, but let's face it, like I'm not really that big on social media. Okay. Um, but you kind of feel like you have to be on it a lot to like be valid, if that makes sense. But I just, I don't have time to be putting, I mean, I do, I just, I don't know, I guess I just don't choose to put that much time into it. Anyway, I wanted to talk about this really quickly. He saw that there was a daggone camera sitting there, and he just kept walking in front of it, and he was just looking at me like, what? And I was like, I'm filming. He's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I was like, you literally had to walk around that tripod just to get into this room. God love him. He just had one thing on his mind. He was getting ready to go to the farm, and that's you know, that was the only thing that he had left to do was to come in and get that. But, um, I had not realized it has been so long since I cleaned this mirror. Look how disgusting that is. All that dirt and dust y'all that's embarrassing. Like really embarrassing. I really need to get in here and tackle some stuff. Like my fans are gross. I think also I want to change the fans out once we, you know, get finished with more of the paint and the floors and stuff like that. They're amazing fans. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just a little outdated and I kind of want something different. So I might do that like room by room. Um, also our little dome lights that are in almost every room. I want to get rid of those and swap those out with something different. I was thinking about like the little, they're not puck lights. Well, I guess they are the little, you know, the flat lights. Um, but I would have to do a ton of them to get the amount of light that I'm getting out of the ones that I have now. I just don't know if we want to go through all that, you know, rewiring and all that stuff, but we'll see. I don't know. Never say never. Also, I didn't realize that my battery had died 
right when I started doing these uh, clothes, but they did. My battery died, and I don't know. You can Well, you can see how many clothes I got done by the time I realized that my battery died, so I apologize for that. Anywho, I had all this laundry to get done. I was listening to some amazing music. If you guys have any, like, new stuff that you're listening to, I kind of want to start listening to, I don't know, something new. So, drop me, drop me whatever it is that you like to hear, any, any new stuff. Um, I'm going to be looking at some new books and stuff like that for the trip as well, probably on the ride up there because we're going to be busy with a whole bunch of stuff while we're there. We've already got like plenty of stuff already planned out that we're going to be doing. So it's probably only going to be either when I'm laying on the beach or when I'm laying down to, you know, I don't know, go to sleep. Um, obviously that was a good song playing because I had to get down and do my little air guitar, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this up with some vacuuming in the bedroom. I know I was just kind of all over the place and I just, I've got so many things going on in my brain right now that I just don't know how to calm down and, you know, reel it in for you guys. And I apologize. I probably should have just had this video with nothing but music, but I know that you guys really like to hear me talk and tell stories and just, you know, kind of be one-on-one -on -one with you. And that's really honestly what I enjoy as well too. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this video gave you some motivation. You guys, I will be back from vacation with another video. I've got a whole bunch of new stuff that I want to show you. So make sure you come back. If you're not already subscribed and you want to come back, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and it'll bring you back every time I have a new video. So I'm going to go ahead and go. I love you and appreciate you and I will see you next time. Bye.